Two weeks in the West Coast with Rachel was absolutely incredible. The time flew by. It was time to end our stay in style. Good morning, guys. So, hang on one second. Hang on one second. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> He's so excited. So, yeah, that's the sound of the Camaro. We got upgraded, which I don't even think they realized it. I think they gave us the wrong keys. Yeah, I probably. agree. Yeah. And they gave us a Camaro keys convertible, which is pretty incredible. It's a beautiful 2017 Camaro convertible that we have for the last that we have for the last few days out here in California. And this is a special vlog trip. I'm really excited. It's the last, we got some music going. <laughs> it's the last vlog out here in California before we head back out to Thailand. And it's a very special one. I've wanted to go to this location or this resort about two years ago and they're a renovation uh, for about six, eight months renovation process, which I missed out on. And I am getting to go this trip and bringing Rachel, which is very exciting. It's a beautiful resort out in Jenner, California, so it's about two hours north from the Golden Gate Bridge in the city, and it is right on the Highway 1 coast, north of the Golden Gate. We went to Big Sur, we went south in the last vlog, but this one is really, really, really exciting. Uh, so we have about a two hours drive in this incredible Camaro from Mill Valley out to Jenner, California. We might make a couple stops, we'll see. For our second stop, we made it to Duncan's Landing. The first stop, we ended up at Bodega Bay and had a delicious lunch. Seafood and oysters definitely is the thing to get when you're in Bodega Bay. And Duncan's Landing is absolutely beautiful around here. And the viewpoints were spectacular for the drive up here. Oh my goodness. the most amazing driver ever and we have this crazy spectacular view please concentrate on driving don't get distracted all I do is poke my camera right into you we made it <laughs> let's go let's go Just making sure it's locked. All right, so after a two hour drive, which took like four or five hours, the scenic drive is absolutely beautiful out here. And it's in a ton of different movies, they say, but we made it to Timber Cove and I'm super stoked to be here. Again, I wanted to come here about two years ago, but they were renovating and now I'm here. It's one of the hotels on Highway 1 on the Pacific Coast, so all the rooms face the sunset and it's absolutely spectacular. But we gotta find a spot to check in. They got a little outdoor ping pong table and pool table. Get ready to play some ping pong. <laughs> a little foosball also. Gotta be a gentleman after you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this is so nice. Like a little lodge. This is beautiful. Yes. Perfect, can I get your last name? Lao, L-A-U. Oh, incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ginger beer, you said? You. Yes, sir. Course, Thank so you so much. Good. Ginger beer, like remedy? Or, or, or we call it the cure for the curves. Okay. It's ginger beer and bitters. So and mint. So all three of those things help actually settle your stomach. Oh, from the drive. Exactly. Incredible. Thank yeah. you so You're much. Welcome. Oh, this is delicious. Thank you. Oh, wooden keys. That's awesome. Ugh. Wow. Welcome to Timber Cove, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful stay. Thank you so much. Cheers. Have a good one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo. Let's put this down. I don't know what you're gonna put anything down and the first thing I wanna do is go out. 
<laughs> okay, let's start the room tour with a view. So we got the balcony right over here and holy smokes, the Pacific Coast off of Highway 1. This is Timber Cove, this is what we came for. Woo! Oh yeah, there's a little fire pit right over there. And then walking back into our balcony, you got this beautiful king size bed right over here. You got a television. I love that they have a fireplace right in the corner of the room, right next to the view and the window. They have like a little uh, record player right over here when you walk right in. This is really, really cool. Adds a lot of style to the room, I'd say. You got a couple big closets. And this is the bathroom, so first time seeing it. The light has to be right over here. Oh, this is beautiful. You got a nice stand-up shower right over here. You got a toilet, you got a sink right over here, and it's like marble, so it's really nice. Let's turn it back off. I am so excited to be out here at Timber Cove. Again, two years ago, they were in reservation, couldn't make it out here. It's a beautiful, one of the most popular hotels on the Pacific Coast out in California, north of the Golden Gate Bridge. A lot of you guys are used to going down south, heading to the Big Sur, but this is absolutely beautiful. The spectacular views on the Pacific Coast. You got the cliffs literally right in front of us. And you can see all the water crashing into the rocks right outside from the window, and the coast is so, so beautiful. And we got this beautiful room for one night out here in Timber Cove, which I am super stoked about. There's a lot of things to do out here. You can go on different trails, you can go on different hikes, you can sit by the fire right out there and enjoy your night. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for our one night out in Timber Cove. I feel very great. I mean, like the way up here, it's just spectacular along the coastline and in a convertible. Highly recommend if you come here, rent a convertible. and. The view here is spectacular. The room is really nice, it's really cozy, and you can choose like all these little songs you can play. From the record player, yeah. We have dinner set up for us around 7, 8 p.m. later on today, uh, but I think right now we're gonna chill in the room. We've been on the road for like four or five hours, taking our sweet, sweet time to get up here from the Bay Area, and it's definitely worth it. So right now I think we're gonna enjoy the views. We might go for a little jog or go for a little hike just around the resort, because it's, it's honestly spectacular. Catch a sunset in a little bit and uh, get some dinner here. It is, it's so beautiful out here. Oh my goodness. You can just hear the water crashing into the rocks. Look at this view. of we just saw a sunset. Not the best sunset in the world. I feel like sometimes clouds makes a little better, adds more colors to it, but there was no clouds around. The sun just set right there. Got an awesome drone shot. Now uh, we're walking to the bench to sit there. How was the, how was the sunset? Well, um, 
I still think it's pretty Even though it's really quick, it's like one minute It was still there And by the time we turn back, take a photo, turn around, it's gone Yeah, the sun set pretty quick I think we we're just shooting the drone up more than <laughs> checking out the sunset, getting the shots, but this is so perfect. This is so beautiful out here. The resort's like right behind us. You got that little tower right behind us. I think this is bocce ball right over here. And then you have like one chair right over here by itself with this beautiful view of the Pacific coast. Right over here. This is so perfect. Check out the setup. Whew. This is beautiful. Birds. Birds right over so there. Cute. We have dinner reservations at 7.45 at the restaurant. Oh, what time is it but um, yeah, 7.45, we got about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> and we're just gonna enjoy this view out here of the Pacific coast and then get some dinner at the restaurant in Timber Cove. Look forward to it. I'm so glad that she's here with me. <laughs> My goodness. Let's go. You look beautiful. I absolutely love it here. The sunset was beautiful. It's so charming in the lobby and in the restaurant area. It's absolutely stunning here. I'm so glad I made it here after two years of wanting to come here so badly on a quick trip at the end of our California trip. Uh, right now we're walking to our 745 reservation. Doing well, thank you. Excellent. Reservation? Yes. What's the name of the reservation? Lao, L-A-U, Christopher. All right, chow down, babe. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's your regular steak. This looks delicious. Thank you so much. This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. She ordered the same thing as me, but she's got good taste. That's why. And yeah, we got the 21 day age dry ribeye. I think that's what it's called. And this is so delicious. We're gonna get to it right now and uh, enjoy your ribeye. The truffle mashed potato. Truffle mashed potato. There you go. Oh my god, the food was so good. We're gonna head back to the room, but Rachel is picking out some records, which is pretty cool. You can pick out some records and play it on your record player <laughs> in the room. Finding anything good? But we have got some pretty good things in our room already, so... That's true. Wow... This is so nice. Look at the skies. So the sunrise is like right behind us, but you can still get the like beautiful like pastel and like light pink cotton candy clouds. And the temperature is perfect. And I love, 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 I was telling Rachel this last night, hearing the sound of the water crashing into the rocks. Oh, this is a good start to the morning. See an incredible view. See a fireplace. You ready? Oh, I wanna leave. All right, let's stay here forever. All right, we just checked out. Oh my goodness, the views are absolutely incredible right over there. And uh, yeah, they're closing to the public in about 15, 20 minutes. I think they're having a wedding over the weekend, which is kind of cool, so you can have your own wedding, book out the entire lodge, the entire resort. It's so beautiful, it'd be perfect for a wedding. So we're gonna jump in the Camaro convertible. We're gonna head back to South Down to, I think, Bodega Bay, get some lunch out there again, and then head back to the Bay Area. You got the key? I don't have the key. No way. I don't, I don't have the key. Okay, fine, you, you know me so well. I got the key, I got the key, we're good. Looks good. Lovely. Oh yeah. So when you're in Bodega Bay, you have to get clam chowder and fish tacos. If you're in California in general, the clam chowder was so good yesterday. So to show you guys a live taste, which I normally do, <laughs> you have to get clam chowder if you're in California or Bodega Bay. Oh my goodness, this is so good. And calamari, all for about $30 American. And right down the block, we are at SCV Sonoma Coast Vineyards. It's a wine tasting room, basically. And when you're in Sonoma Coast, out in Bodega Bay, you might as well get some wine. <clears throat> got some wine. 
Got a little package so we could actually protect it when we're traveling and some good wine tasting. So this region of Sonoma is known for red, specifically Pinot Noir, and I tried all the Pinot Noirs, they were all delicious. She got the Salmon Creek one and it's really delicious Pinot Noir, so we're gonna head back right now to the Bay Area. We got about an hour, hour and a half drive, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog out here on Sonoma Coast, specifically going to Timber Cove, a hotel and resort that I wanted to go to for the last like two, three years. I'm so stoked, it was such an incredible experience. Specifically out here in Sonoma, it's been an incredible trip, and coincidentally, we got this Camaro convertible, which topped the trip off, basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog out here. All right guys, so as you guys may notice, I am already back in Thailand and I am heading out to the Philippines today officially. In about five, six hours, I head to the airport. My flight's around 9.15, so I wanna get there around two hours early, around seven o'clock-ish, let's say. And it was an incredible time out in California, especially at Timber Cove. We had such an incredible stay, somewhere that I've wanted to stay at for the last couple of years. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick vlog series out there in California. Again, I didn't really get to edit or really post anything on YouTube during my two weeks out in California but thank you guys for that patience for giving me time with Rachel spending it with my family and friends that means absolutely a lot to me and I'm gonna go ham for you guys over the next course of who knows how long I just posted four vlogs in a row four days in a row I've literally been in this exact spot editing for about three four days in a row if you guys have been paying attention to my Instagram uh, right over here check me out on Instagram and yes yeah, so I edited four vlogs four vlogs in a row and today is the day I'm heading out to the Philippines which I'll be posting this vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog series for the next 30 days I'm gonna be out in the Philippines I leave tonight at 7 15 uh, and I'll be going to Shargao for the next six nights which I'm super stoked to bust out two to three vlogs out in Shargao I've never been to Shargao and it's supposedly one of the nicest islands in all of the Philippines. I think Lost of Long deemed it number one just recently. Uh, and after that, I'll be heading to a couple other special spots, which I've been to and I have not been to. So I'm super, super, super stoked uh, to bust out 10 to 20 vlogs out in the Philippines over the next 30 days. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to the channel if you guys are brand new to the channel. I hope you guys like Tropical Vibes because that's what's the next 30 days of vlogging gonna be like. So my whole goal is to post a vlog every other day while I'm out in the Philippines for the next 30 days. Sometimes I might be vlogging two to three days in a row just for one vlog, so something might not come out for a few days. Also, the Wi-Fi in the Philippines and the data and everything is absolutely terrible, so it's gonna be a struggle to be able to post on YouTube especially, but wish me luck, be patient with me, and I'm gonna be busting out a ton of vlogs in the next 30 to 40 days out in the Philippines. Thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to the channel if you guys are brand new again to the channel. I hope you guys like this video, comment down below if you guys have any questions on traveling. I've been pretty much in Southeast Asia the last, I'd say, seven, eight months, but I am also uh, from California. I lived in California for four years before that, and um, now I'm heading out to the Philippines. And make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified for the Philippine vlogs coming out in the next few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.